To edit one of our public groups or our distribution groups, you have to actually be an owner of that group. And if you're the owner, then you sign into your Office 365 account, and you're going to click on the cog or this little gear in the upper right hand corner and select Options. From the Options window, you're going to select Groups from the left, and you will see a list of distribution groups or public groups that you belong to, as well as a list of distribution groups that you own. So to edit the group, you have to be one of the owners. I will edit the CTI group, but you will, of course, select the group that you want to edit. So I go ahead and select it, and I can click the Edit button, or I can double click on the name of my group. From this screen, I can adjust the name, or I can adjust any notes to myself about it, but I want to I wanna take a look at the options over on our left. Under Ownership, I can add additional owners. I highly suggest you have two or three owners of every public group so that you're not the only one who can make these changes. When I click on Membership, this is where I can add or remove members. To add someone, I click the plus symbol. That's pretty easy to remember. And then I search for members in our directory. So I can click right here and I can search for anyone named Lisa. So I clicked Lisa and hit the enter key or of course you could click the search. And then I scroll down and I find the Lisa that I want and I select them. Notice what happens when I double click on their name. So if I wanted to add another person I could add that person. I'm double clicking on the name. You could also click the plus symbol. Once I get all of the people up here in this list, I'm going to select OK. In this case, I'm going to cancel because I'm just using that as an example. If I need to remove someone from the list, I'll remove Betty, but I'll put her right back in. I'm going to select her name and just simply click the minus sign. So here's a quick little reminder. I'm going to click the plus and add Betty back in. If it doesn't come up the first time for you, which I've had a few problems with that, then just close that window and open or hit the plus symbol again. So I'm searching for Betty and I'm going to add her back in. I can either double click or I can hit the plus symbol. It goes right here. I click OK and I have now added, added Betty back into our list. Any changes that you make here, you need to hit the Save button. And once it saves, your public distribution list has been updated.